Hey guys, this is Courtney with Twig and Olive Photography this morning. I am going to be showing you our new image enhancer workflow actions, um, possibly dabbling a little bit into our, um, our skin and tone set just a little bit too here and there. So um, I went back and I pulled back two old images from a year ago to just kind of show how I would spruce them up. Um, these were two images that we just had run Lightroom presets on and been done, uh, but wanting to show a little bit more on how we can um, enhance them up a little bit. So what I'm going to start with here first is going into the new set, the image enhancer set here. I'm going to start with, I want to brighten up her face a little bit. She's facing away from the light and so her face is a little bit dark. So I'm going to do the let there be light action here. And it automatically selects your, your white brush to paint on. And I'm just going to lightly paint that on her face here to brighten it ever so slightly. And I'll click it on and off just so you can see the difference there. So now she's got a little bit of brightness to her. Just a little bit in there too. Good. All right. So then I'm going to flatten after each action I do. I'm going to run up to our, um, let's see here. I'm going to run up to our skin and tone workflow quick because I do just want to sharpen and blacken things. And I use our finishing touch action for that. And you'll see that'll just kind of sharpen and deepen the blacks here a little bit. And I'm gonna just kinda tone that down ever so slightly too, just cause I like to run things at lower opacities, just a little bit of oomph. And then I'm gonna use our baby soft action to um, ever so slightly just go over and soften the skin tones. And I'll click that on and off so you can see what it does here too. It kind of blends skin tones, almost like a foundation. Here, click it on and off. See, just ever so slightly. Not over the top or crazy. <clears throat> All right, going back down here. Um, I do, I think I'm gonna try to remove just a little bit of the yellow from her face too. So I'm gonna remove the, I'm gonna hit the yellow cast here and I know that's gonna take off a lot of yellow, which I don't want. So what I'm gonna do if I click on this yellow cast and I hit Command I, it's going to invert it. And then instead of painting back on, because it's just a small area, I can just kind of paint off here just a little bit. So here, see? Just taking a little bit of yellow off of her face there. And I may even just tone that down a little bit so she still has a little bit of yellow. All right, good. Happy with that. Then I want to brighten the whole image. I just want to kind of lift it, just give it a little bit of lift. And so what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to run this pocket full of sunshine and that'll just kind of brighten it and just give it a little bit of, just a little bit of oomph. See, there we go. Click it on and off for you there. And that just gives it a little bit of brightening. All right. Then I am going to I'm gonna do the earthly warmth, the paint off. So there's, you notice there's two earthly warmths here. This one's a paint on, so you can just put it in tiny little pockets of areas. This one runs it on the whole image and I'm just gonna paint it off. So what I'm gonna do is run it on the whole image to just kind of warm up everything again. And I'm gonna paint off on their faces just a little, just so it's not too much over the top on their faces. Click it on and off again so I can you can see that there, how it just kind of warms everything up. All right, and then what I want to do next is you notice how I've got a really nice and vibrant foreground and the background's kind of dull. So I'm going to run our tonal enhancer and I'm going to kind of paint on this dull area and just kind of darken it a little bit. It just is very subtle. but I'll click it on and off just again so you can see the difference there. Works great for skies. It works great for um, if you want to just brighten up some flowers and trees. I can see here, I'll put it under flowers a little bit there too. You can see the on and off. Okay. 
And just because I'm trying to show you everything this can do, we're going to give her cheek a little color. So I'm going to put the lips and cheek. This works great for newborns too, um, for kids, for babies, um, for close-ups, for things that you're doing. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of blush to her cheek just so you can kind of see how that works. So there, did that. Um, now I talked about like the, the foreground being really vibrant and the back being a little bit um, like more muted. So let's say you want to even that out a little bit. Um, let's use our color cast because we also have a little bit of color cast. You can tell in these trees here. So we're going to remove this green color cast. And you can tell if I click it on and off here, it just kind of makes it a little less neon, which is great for springtime too. So, and you'll notice also that there's a regular one and then there's the more intense one. So if I click off this one, if you want to see it really intense, then you get, that's where you get the grays and things like that. But um, you could always take that opacity down to where exactly where you want it and have complete control like that too. So I'm still going to click that off. Just going to use the regular one. Go back to that. And I'm going to just keep it at 100% because I think that's kind of perfect for muting it down just a little bit. Flattening again. I'm going to bring out this sunset just a little bit. So we're going to do the paint on here. And I'm going to paint on, um, you notice there's a bunch of different colors like Doug was talking about the other night. I'm going to do the kind of the brown one because we've got some browns here. So I'm going to do that Terra Nova. And make my brush a little bigger. And you notice it's at 100% right now. So I'm just going to kind of paint it on, see where things are at there, how I like it. And it kind of darkens it, makes it look a little moodier. And I like that. And I'm going to add just a small pop of yellow for kicks. But I'm going to take that way down, like 29%, and just kind of paint around there. So you just see it just added just that little bit of yellow. All right. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the image looks. Um, if I want to add a finishing, we'll add. I'm going to add a little bit of light green to this. Make it a little, just a tad grainy. And it's at 50%, so you can up or down it, but I really like it. You can paint that on the skin, or off the skin, I'm sorry. You can leave it on. I'm going to leave it on just because I like it. And that would be my finished image. So let's flatten it. And then going to my history, I'm just going to show you the before. That's how I brought it in. And the after. One more time. Before. And the after. So, all right, so that is that image, and I should have one behind it here, yep. All right, another one from about a year, year and a half ago that I just, I wanted to bring out of, like, from a while and just see what I could do to it. So, this one here, I'm going to start kind of the same way, and I'm going to let there be light, which is just kind of a paint on light action. I'm going to paint it on the mama's face here and just kind of brighten her face ever so slightly. I'll show you the click on and click off again, how it just kind of lifts those shadows. Flatten my image. And then I'm going to go next to the tonal enhancer. Now, if I wanted to, well, maybe I'll do the same thing I did last time. Why not? Let's just kind of go back up to the the workflow here, the skin and tone. So let's soften skin just a little. I don't think she needs it a lot, but since I'm showing you how if I was touching up an image, what I would do, I'm just going to go over her skin real lightly. I don't like a super overly touched up skin. I just like it very, very light and minimal. So do that. And then I'm going to do my finishing touch action again, which sharpens and blackens a little bit. And again, these are, oops, I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want to do the, yeah. Um, these are from the Skin and Tone set, and they're two that I use all the time. I use the Baby Soft, I use the Finishing Touch all the time. They're fantastic, fantastic actions. All right. And now I'm going to go back to the new set here. I'm going to go back to the Image Enhancer set, and I'm going to go to the Tonal Enhancer. And this is a really just great all-around action that's a paint-on because you can... I'm at 100% here, and I'm just going to really go over these clouds. Go over them a little bit. I'm going to go over the grass a little bit. It's subtle, and yet it just kind of gives your image a really nice pop in areas. And see, I kind of painted around them a little bit. So I click that on and off, and you can see where it just kind of gives it a little bit of oomph. And then I'm going to flatten it. And same thing as before, I'm going to 
play my pocket full of sunshine just because I really like the just giving that a little bit of bright brightness there and you can you can use it as much or as little as you want so if you want just a little bit if you want a lot it's kind of just under your control which is great all right so do that and we got a little bit of light there but I don't know if there's enough that I really want to paint on maybe we'll give it just a little bit so let's do the sky is not really fiery in this one let's just do a little bit of the golden sunset and because it's just a little bit of a sun I'm gonna really do it just kind of low and just kind of paint it there give it a little bit of extra color now if I had a lot of Sun I would give it a lot more but I'm just gonna give it a little all right and I'm pretty happy with the way it looks overall so let's run a I don't think I have any casting I need to worry about um, but again with the color cast it's really great like if I just had too much green or if I had too much yellow these are awesome um, I'll just show you again let's do let's just do the let's do the remove the green cast one again just to show you the difference if I wanted to tone down some of these greens less neon you can kind of tell in the grass down there it's less neon if I wanted the really intense one again it's gonna make it more like that and again if I wanted the more intense one it's adjustable and it's also will paint off so if like you wanted to keep mom's dress the color it was you can paint it back on like that if you wanted to just so and I'll just kind of leave it somewhere in the middle here okay and I'm gonna end with my grain there's also the matte finishes if I wanted to do like a heavy matte finish um, and again super adjustable you could do those there's a hazy one which is kind of fun it just kind of gives it that really nice little blur to it almost like just a smoky haze it's really pretty but I'm gonna just run my film grain again just because that's what kind of mood I'm into and there that would be my finished image all right so I'm gonna flatten it and let me show you the before and after again so here's how we brought it in here is how it ended do it one more time here's how we brought it in and there's how it ended and so again this is just a really basic overall how to use some of these here you want to play around with them because there's a lot of different colors and things that you can work with I'm gonna definitely make some more videos when I find um, some really great examples so you guys can see them um, but I hope you got some, something out of it and I can't wait for you to give them a try